Lloyd Homer is one of New Zealand's best known aerial photographers. Between 1965 and 1997, he worked for the New Zealand Geological Survey and GNS Science. Over that time, Lloyd was on the spot to record major geological events such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and landslides. This exhibition is a sample of his photography, including landscapes, geological hazards and scientists at work. When he started, all of his photography was in black and white. The magnitude 7.1 Anangahur earthquake in May 1968 was a big shock as there had been no large earthquakes in New Zealand for many years. It was Lloyd Homer's first major assignment and he recorded the widespread damage on the ground and from the air. The Ananui Caves in limestone at Charleston on the west coast were discovered in the early 1960s. Geologist Malcolm Laird was one of the first scientists to explore and map the caves and Lloyd did a magnificent job of lighting the stalagmites and stalactites using only his flashlight. Lloyd Homer was a keen skier and a member of the Ruapehu Ski Patrol. When Ruapehu erupted in June 1969, he was quickly on the spot to record the steaming crater lake and the huge blocks thrown out by the eruption. It was the first of several eruptions that Lloyd was to record over the next 30 years. Lloyd visited and flew over the Tongariro volcanoes many times. Tongariro, Narahoe and Ruapehu are dominant features of the landscape in the central North Island on a clear day. This photo was taken from near Mount Taranaki, looking over the dissected hill country to the volcanoes on the horizon. Mount Narahoe erupted intermittently for several months in early 1974. In this explosive eruption, an ash cloud was blasted upwards into the atmosphere. Some of the heavier material fell back, causing avalanches of hot rock that travelled downhill at high speed into the nearby Mangatipopo Valley. Hikarangi is the sacred mountain of Ngāti Paru. It was traditionally regarded as the first piece of land to emerge when Maui fished up the North Island. New Zealand's most publicised landslide occurred in the Dunedin suburb of Abbotsford in August 1979, when a huge block slid downhill from left to right in the photograph, carrying 17 people with it. Amazingly, no one was injured. In the later part of his career, Lloyd Homer pioneered techniques for high altitude aerial photography. This amazing image shows Banks Peninsula near Christchurch with a view looking along Akaraa Harbour. A magnitude 6.3 earthquake affected the Edgecombe area on the 2nd of March 1987 with widespread damage to homes and to the industrial area of Kawarau. A seven kilometre long rift opened up across the Rangitaiki Plain, seen here where it crosses McCracken Road. In the early morning of 14th of December 1991, a huge piece of the east face of Aoraki Mount Cook collapsed, flying downhill as a huge landslide onto the Tasman Glacier. There were no injuries, but a group of climbers in the Plateau Hut had a close call as the landslide passed only 300 metres away. Rua Paihu erupted intermittently in 1995 and 96, causing widespread disruption to air traffic and depositing ash over much of the central North Island. Lloyd caught this explosive eruption on the 19th of June 96, the last major event he recorded.